Welcome. <laughs> it's Wednesday, and we are happy to be on the air. Spun Silver Bullshit. Yes, stay lifted above all things. We're back, back, back. Another Wednesday night power hour sheesh. Sesh, session, blunts. I just like to say blunt. I oh, gotta take my medicine. It's a long week. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> what can we say, world? <laughs> Shout out to all my positive people <laughs> staying above all the bullshit going on in the world and in our daily lives. Yes. Whew. So, in weather breaking news. <laughs> breaking weather news. We have a hurricane coming up the East Coast. <laughs> Fast and heavy hitting us on the weekend. Like, we just got finished with the rain last weekend. Summer's over. Welcome fall. <laughs> we'll fall into the season. We falling in the hurricane season. What the hell happening? It's some bullshit, but we alive. <laughs> so, stay safe, all my viewers. Viewers out there in the South. <laughs> North Carolina. My family. Be safe. I mean, y'all really don't get too caught up in the bullshit hype and get caught in the grocery store spending all your money. You know, just make sure you have some greens in the house, some water. <coughs> That's all you need. Some ganja, you know, and some vegetables like the real greens, you know, collards, kale. <laughs> it's good for your skin. <laughs> Fluoride, cleansing, all those amazing things. Today, we're just going to chill. We're going to vibe out, you know. We're taking a breather. The mind. Sometimes you do so much work and just so much overthinking that you just need to exhale. Just breathe. Take some time for yourself. Elevate. Meditate. Alleviate. Cut off, do what you have to do to release your inhibitions, to level up, to love yourself even more. It's a self journey, it's a self battle. So we're here, seek your passions, your purpose. While cutting out the bullshit, you know, that's what it's about. Find daily levels to achieve yeah so that's what I try to do every day each one teach one preach it to my daughter I feel like this is my mission it's my journey it's my duty of life to help and to uplift anyone that I can in any way that I can and it's not an easy it's not an easy task because uplifting yourself is a task within itself you know you have to stay positive so find some affirmations you have to love and hug yourself because no one else is going to encourage you like you encourage you okay and we're going to go to our health tips it's just a little daily light i wanted to give to the night crew <laughs> to my night owls to my light workers to the moon and the stars. Every night we should just find little things in the universe, in the earth, like the moon, and admire it. Find some admiration in things that are outside of the world and bills. The bills are gonna be here. And the people that collect the bills, they're gonna be here. So really, fuck the bills. <laughs> Pay yourself. Pay yourself first, seriously. You work every day. Everyone needs a vacation. So treat yourself. You need massage, rub your own feet. If you got to do it, do what you got to do for yourself, okay? That's what it's about. So I know I've given some tips, health tips, far as cutting out some bad things. 
But let's give you some tools or ways that you can also cut them out, but you have something to fall back or rely on. There's so many natural essentials in the world that are here for us. I'm gonna take a short break. I'm pretty sure it's my daughter that's calling. <laughs> like I never left <laughs> so, yes <sighs> raising a teenager is hilarious <laughs> for real so every day is an adventure <laughs> and an emergency or drama situation you know so I had to answer the call and I went up to the school today, you know, and my daughter, I don't think I'm going to give her some acting classes. She don't even need classes because she's just so good at what she does. <laughs> she's like, Mom, I really, I just can't eat this food. I'm going to die. All of the chemicals, it's just nothing healthy here for me. So I'm just going to starve. <laughs> I'm like, Really? And you calling me in the middle of school to tell me you need me to bring you lunch again. All right. All right. So long story short, <clears throat> back to our health tips. Coconut oil is really versatile, okay, because it can be used for mouthwash, which is antimicrobial, antibiotic. It's going to kill germs naturally. And it is going to naturally stop your teeth from decaying as well as falling out. <laughs> like, so it's actually better than toothpaste because toothpaste doesn't even do that. So, you know, it's just always good to research. A great mind <sighs> learns daily, seeks knowledge. So there's so many things out there. If you have a problem in your life, just fix it. You know, you can fix it by finding the information. Hello. Stopping the bullshit. <laughs> Stop bullshitting yourself. Like you are limitless. You hold the power. You just have to find it. We're all Wonder Women or men or like we have superpowers. Like I fully believe I'm a fucking superhero. So you may not believe it, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm a believer. So it's just about me proving it. That's all <laughs> for real. But it's all about whatever you tell yourself, feeding off of the great energies in the universe and just being better, alleviating the chemicals and all of the bad things and standing up for a cause. Because if we all stop buying fucking Colgate and Crest or if um, many people write to them like, why are metals in plastic in the toothpaste? Is it helping us or is it hurting us? What is the purpose? Okay, so that's the first question. We have to start asking logical questions, taking them to the right people, and just fixing our quality of life. Because I don't want 
to I don't want my kids the environment over time like why are we using things that we know are harmful for our body it's killing us over time it's not actually preventing our teeth from falling out so we want to know why we're constantly back in the dentist and then you're eating all these foods we're not really foods but drinks that are loaded with sugar so they stick all on your teeth and just cause them to rot and then you want to know why you have bad breath and yada yada so naturally coconut oil also inhibits bad breath so if you just gargle with it for at least 10 minutes they say is what is you're going to get the best more than 10 minutes if you gargle with coconut oil so all you have to do is just you know put a teaspoon in your mouth swish it around it's going to create like a foam or a milky consistency and whatever it's awesome use that versus using listerine which has Alcohol, which is harmful to your gums and also harmful to the natural or and bacteria that are in your mouth. So just a little, you know, fun over bullshit fact for you today so you can maybe add something into your healthy lifestyle along with baking soda because baking soda is also something that you can add to make a toothpaste and it's a natural deodorant and so forth. Baking soda can be used for numerous of things deodorant washing your hair because it's gonna take out all that dandruff along with your apple cider vinegar so research holistic ways that you can improve your daily diet or regimen eat vitamins meaning food as well as taking your vitamins because you you can take vitamins, but you don't actually, um, I'm gonna fix this. So you can take vitamins, but you don't ingest 100% of the vitamins. So maybe 30% to 50%, depending on what you eat and uh, it's actually going into your system. And the rest is being beat out. <clears throat> or sweat out so it's best to eat healthy and you absorb more of the nutrients that way cotton mouth <laughs> so and we got <clears throat> so we gonna roll into teddy facts for the week because I learned something great I learned and it was so cool because somebody came over to the table I never knew that Teddy Roosevelt was the president and Annie did anyone know that I didn't know so I have to go back and watch Annie now because I was like what did I miss really yeah I was telling the guy, he's like really that's your favorite person he was in such and such movie so he was in a couple movies it's Teddy Rocks. Yes. <laughs> we're going to take a short break. I'm going to find my lighter. And we're going to come back.
I'm back. <laughs> Can't go on without my lighter. <laughs> so for real. Trump. <laughs> uh, and news. So, in news, Trump just took $10 million out of health care for border, border control. So, when are we going to have health care? <coughs> I mean, and in news, Obama, he's standing up along with Byrne, the Byrne. And he's like, you know, we have someone in power that isn't making any logical sense. And we have people that are standing behind him. Like, when are we as people going to take a stand for our own life and the movement? And the part that we play and how we can change. We can step up and be daily officials, I mean elected officials. It's a course to become a council member. You have to get engaged. You have to become an activist. You have to stop just talking to your friends about it and create a movement, create a group. Meet up weekly, whether it's at the bar, at the radio station. I mean, we have to do more. So, blunts over bullshit. That's what we're here for. I want to do more. And we can only do that with making changes within ourselves. So, each day is my duty to reach out, to go to my daughter's school. If I can't be the best mom, to her maybe I can make an impact in another child's life and we need to teach our kids not just what they offer in school but beyond because any day we never know what may come and our job is to love and heal everyone is here for a reason and what's your purpose are you living to exist Are you living a half-life or are you just getting up every day to clock in, you know, to to clock in and collect the check? Because life has so much more meaning than that fucking bullshit check. Like, so don't get wrapped up in the bullshit. Be anonymous if you have to, but take a stand for your life, for your sake. That's what it's all about. I want to do more than just make money and have a paycheck, you know, and fight for health care. I want to teach my daughter. I want to leave a legacy. So life is about more than just going to the club and bullshitting. What are you going to own? What are you going to have? What are you going to leave? Are you going to have to, I mean, is the city going to bury you? And in a state where health, mental health is so important and we are neglecting our health and our lives for work, for bills, for what? (laughs) For the struggle. We're not even teaching and giving our kids ethics, morals, values, So if your kids are just seeing you deal with that, then they feel like that's all life is and that's all life has to offer. Is that all? Ask yourself. It's just a question. Blunt's over bullshit. Hit your blunt. (laughs) Laugh, you know, and good news. (laughs) We have great things going on around this city and 
The world is filled with abundance and infinite possibilities to create your magic and to succeed. So with each idea and with each gift or whatever you're good at, you have something to offer the world. You have something to offer yourself. So just live, enjoy, laugh, you know, because it's always going to be some bullshit, but it's about staying above and eliminating. We can create a better world. Do you want to do it? It's going to take some work, yes. But it's definitely worth it. Everything that you want is available at your disposal. Okay. Anyway, we have some good treats coming out. You know, I love cooking. So homemade infused Cinnabons is one of the signatures. So I have some treats I'm giving away to all of the staff, the lovely people, so they can sample. Give me your honest opinion. Let me know how it can be improved. Too sweet, not sweet enough, etc. Yes, I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's 250 milligrams and 30% CBD. So we have a nice balance for everyone. Love your oil tested and infused. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so everyone come out to Green House. Support DC. 8th Street Festival. Support DC. All of the vendors and local. I love the 8th Street Festival. It's been happening for I think over 20 for a long time over as long as i've been born okay and i like it because businesses like can't get in like big companies and corporations like jamba juice or if a restaurant they can't get in it has to be small businesses mom and pops like so i love that so shout out to all the entrepreneurs who made it you know, who's going to be out to distribute their products and show us what they have been creating all year and throughout the years. So let's support small business because it is really big because small business goes back into the community. It goes back into people's dreams who are trying to build and become better. And I'm a small business. I definitely want everyone to succeed so we have to uplift and support each other if your dollar goes back into i always love like i love going to the market where we have our farmers market here in dc now seven days a week pretty much you can go to dupont uh, u street easter market so many different locations even uh, St. Elizabeth, you can, they have there, and Ward 8 has two locations now where they have market, which is really awesome. You can go on the weekends. So check those places out and check out other nonprofits, the Delta Juniors, which are a great organization for girls or really empowerment for teenagers. A collegiate that will walk them along the path of, of any program following them from high school to college and enrollment into the sorority which is good can create a great foundation for kids so we I mean if you're interested in that it's always great to look out but definitely Check out the A Street Festival. Then next weekend will be the Green House Festival. Have like a whole lot of performances. I can't even think about it right now. <laughs> it's gonna be like the light show. He's awesome. I saw him at Flower Fest last year. So I definitely look forward to seeing him again. Uh, Gucci man, I've never seen Gucci so. That will definitely be interesting to hear him. I've seen him, you know, on YouTube, but that doesn't count. <laughs> like, I mean, live. So, yeah. Fun, fun. We also have uh, something else is coming up. 
Uh, yeah, Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, because the year is fucking over. <laughs> For real. It just like, whoosh. So, live your best life. <laughs> Don't sleep. Every day, wake up and be blessed and thankful for another day above ground eat rainbows stay lifted (laughs) i mean just breathe happiness that's all you have to do like just stay happy people try to shoot you down kill them with a smile hey really that's what i do say for real so i'm sleepy it's a long day (laughs) so we may call it you know a little early it's like now i got a lot to talk about so i'm not gonna cut it early nope not tonight (laughs) i'm i really crack myself up sometimes so i'll be laughing out loud but really i'll be thinking about a whole lot of other stuff in my mind (laughs) i'm weird I'm weird like that, so you may hear me laugh. I use, my daughter be like, "What are you laughing at, Mom?" Myself, I'm so hilarious. I'm an inside comedian. That's what it's about. <laughs> Seriously. So, ladies, ladies, <clears throat> the weather's changing, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't want to seem like I'm biased and I'm always addressing the ladies. Someone told me that. So I'm going to try to be more aware. And uh, we're just going to say the weather's changing. So we know that we want to stay moisturized. It's one part of our health and skin and moisture, not staying shaved, especially during the transition of the seasons. Let's also stay safe and aware with our thoughts. And being safe with the ground because D.C. does not fix the sidewalks. And it was some real bullshit today. I was sitting in my car and hitting a blind. <laughs> and the lady literally, a man down, she a pimp in distress. I was like, oh, my God. And the other lady screamed. She's like, is she okay? But they helped her up. But for real, you have to be safe out here on the D.C. streets because a lot of them is the sidewalks and the streets are all fucked up there. They're, I mean, they're all messed up and they're really unleveled. So you may walk on a brick or a sidewalk and it may take you one way. So make sure you have some, some safe shoes. <coughs> be safe out there. That's the key. Until next time, stay lifted. Pray. If you don't pray, slay. (laughs) Yes, every day. Just say your affirmations. Try to teach yourself something new. Eat healthy. You know, cut out profanity because that's bad all the time. But sometimes, you know, you have to let it out. You're just like, I got to let this out. But what I was going to say about Trump, back to that, because I got a little off track, was that he's just taking money and putting it everywhere but where it needs to be, which is perfectly fine, okay, because it's not like it hasn't happened in other presidential history. And But what are we going to do? Who is going to stand up to this jerk off face? Who's going to do it? I mean, I wrote my letter, but I'm only one lady. So can someone else take a stand with me? Stand with Pan. Don't forget about the nonprofits, Black Girls Rock, and also Girls Rock DC, which are some amazing nonprofits. For the community, check it out if you want to be engaged, if you want your kids to be engaged. Until next time, well, it's over bullshit. Have a great night. Bro, I don't know, man. Twizzy, I mean, I'm, uh, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Man, I'm trying to get a job, man. Man. Get out of here. For real. Roll up Monday, roll up Tuesday, roll up Wednesday. Let's get blinded. Rolling Dutch, just switch it backwards. Mary Jane, you got